Greetings. Thanks for tuning in and listening to the channel. Peace if you can find it. There's so much that I want to talk about. It's impossible. So I'm just going to go through the titles that I have in my um, to talk about list. Can't talk about every damn thing that's going on. But the first one is don't connect your phone to your car. I mentioned this before that if you're driving a Ford and you connect your uh, mobile up to that car, everything you say is being recorded by that company. And I'm informed that they listen for keywords. And I mean, if you listen, if you look at the um, crime channels, they be planning everything on their mobiles in the car, in reality, in life. It's easy to catch anybody now because it's so much technology out here. And cameras are following you every step of the way. Your mobile is a tether. And that monthly bill you pay to your mobile company, that's to pay for your tether. We'll be, hey, it's, it's a police state. It, it's happening. So that tidbit, go to the next one. They have how to build an AI model. One second, please. Hey, I got to have some background. Um, they have AI models that make $11,000 per month. These beauty queens that they have on um, IT, TT, whatever, social media, all these fine chicks, <laughs> it could be a robot. That's where we are. Who would have thought all oh, chicks like me from the 50s? This is the Jetsons' age. We have arrived, whether you know it or not. <coughs> and I, Excuse me. I believe all this tearing down is deliberate so that they can build it up anew. All this old building and all this other old BS, they, they're getting ready to sweep it clean. And the next one is excess death how much longer can this horror story be suppressed decent people need help and this person is talking about i'll leave where i get my information in the description below but she's talking about when this was going on and how so many are leaving here and they're not talking about it they're talking about puff daddy He's another clown that they send in, you know, juggle the balls to keep us distracted. And this Trump trial has lasted for how long? <laughs> it's in the Guinness World Book of Records as the longest damn trial. Good gracious. But they got everybody preoccupied and they getting ready to do some shit. I'm telling you. But the people are leaving here. And they're not talking about it because they send in the clouds. They said whenever there's um, something that goes wrong in the circus, they send in the clowns. And right now it's Puff Daddy and it's, it's this trial and a couple of the balls. Oh, there's a whole lot of balls going on. They juggling and they, they doing stuff and nobody is paying attention. They're not paying attention. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do one more and come back. And modern day slavery, uh, let me see. If you ever needed modern day slavery in Louisiana prisons. And <laughs> nobody cares. Oh, nobody cares. Nobody is talking about it. Every now and then you'll see something or a few um, independent journalists are talking about it, but nobody will do anything about it. And even when they... Um, Getting all this hype about their uh, political person that they want to vote for. And it's it's how uh, they tricking us with personality. And no one has asked anybody, what are you going to do for us? What, 
do you gotta do? It, it, it was so disturbing for me to see um, at this Chick-fil-A where all these young black females or young ladies, sisters were working and Trump strategically, that's the word for the day for me, placed himself. Can't y'all catch on what they doing to you? It's blatantly in your face. And that's why they do it to us that have no respect for us because we can't even catch on to the smallest little things. When they come to a chicken place and carrying hot sauce and, and wearing Timberland boots and going down the steps sideways and coming to your churches and you get so excited. Can't you see? They playing on us right in our faces and they laughing because we can't even catch on. It's in your face. But I guess this young generation, oh, but it's too many of the old heads like me. But I'm not an old head. I'm so glad I'm awakened and can see all this shit even though I can't do nothing about it. But I'm an end. Yeah, but they blatantly laughing at us in our faces. And so I said to myself, I can understand why. No, I can't understand it, but why so many Black people are turning on their people. What, what, what the fuck about? Why are they going to waste their life on our side? Because, of my goodness, we have came so far downward from where we were in the 60s. Just before they dropped the drugs and the weapons in my neighborhood. We, we were becoming too strong. And they had to do something. And it's been downhill ever since for us. Oh, my God. And the hypnosis of religion. I have to go there. Oh, God. I thought that after this, they would catch on. <laughs> they dug in ten toes down. And they still can't see it. We are so blind. And I, I saw a deep video about The, the business of the gospel industry is just like the gangster rap. They're not singing about Jesus. It's personality and it's money. It's business. It's a big industry. To the point, didn't Kanye West made a gospel song? People going where the money at. And it's gospel music. That's all it is. It's, it, 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 it's just it's programming to a lot of them because it's, it's, it's feeding all the Sunday school lessons and the, the, through the week and the, the drilling of themselves trying to still hold on to this fantasy. But I'm going to end with that. Peace if you can find it. I had to go there. <laughs>